Good evening and welcome to this Facebook Live for ITV London, where our guest tonight, well, you probably won't recognise him, but you certainly will recognise the person he's here to talk about because she is one of the greatest pop stars London has ever produced, one of the greatest pop stars in the country. And this man, Blake Wood, spent four years photographing her taking photos of her in her most intimate moments. They've never before been seen. They're now coming out in a book, and Blake is here to talk about them. So, Blake, you're originally, well, you've come over from New York. Yeah. Um, how did you get to know Amy? Uh, we met through a mutual friend in London, actually, and became really close very fast. So, yeah, yeah we met through kind of the music scene in London and through friends here. And what was she like? What stage was she at in her career at that point? Because it was back in 2000. Was 2000 the end of 2007, early 2008. She was very well known in the UK and just kind of really, really getting recognized in the US. So I had obviously heard from her or of her. And, and yeah, she was definitely well known by then. Mm. And you quickly came to be sort of a personal photographer in a way, didn't you? Yeah, I think, you know, we met each other at uh, an inter interesting time in our lives where we were, you know, she had obviously put out uh, Back to Black and that was doing really well. And I had just moved to, the, to London and was trying to find my, myself creatively. And she was very much in the, you know, in the midst of putting all her stuff out. So I think it was, it was a unique time and she really pushed me to take photos and loved posing for me and definitely was a big supporter of, of my work then yeah and some of the f photos are absolutely stunning um and she actually as we'll have never have seen her in any of her videos she had blonde hair back yeah. when you first met yeah so we we met when she was blonde and it kind of it definitely took away any of that like you know when you see someone famous and you're just kind of starstruck it took away that that edge for sure and i got to really see her and who she was right off the bat mm. yeah and through those early years, what was it like just to get to know her as a person? Because obviously we talk about her a lot. Yeah. Obviously she was quite a troubled individual as well. Yeah, I think, I think again, it's, uh, you know, I think people focus on a lot of that kind of negative and they don't really see her as the human being that I knew and then this incredibly strong woman. Um, and yeah, I think it's time that we change the conversation and focus on her strengths and really let go of the rest because she left us an incredible gifts that still impact people to this day. Well, no, I'm still listening yeah. to her albums yeah. and I'm fascinated by some of the photos that you've taken. So let's move on to them. Yeah. Why now? Seven years, the anniversary. Well, these were taken 10 years ago. So it's been a decade since mm. I shot these. Um, I think for me, it, it just felt like it was time. It felt like it was, I think, yeah, I think it, it's, a, it's a bigger conversation that I wanted to start around and especially around her and, and seeing how things were in her life and in our friendship through how she was treated in the media and, and in general. I think that these show her in a light that is who she was at her core, which is this, you know, beautiful, loving light and incredibly talented. So let's talk yeah. a bit about a few of those photos. This first one that we've got to show you guys, this is her at a very intimate moment. Um, just tell us a bit about this picture of Amy on the beach. How did this come about? We were actually sunbathing, it was, I think it was in the late afternoon, and um, we were with her goddaughter, Dion Bromfield, who's also a singer, and she was, I think, about 12 at the, at the time. She had come down with us during her school holiday, and so she wanted to make Amy into kind of like a mermaid and create a mermaid tale, so she was burying her in the sand, and I was just taking photos and snapping that, that moment, and Amy was just relaxing while she packed kind of the sand in. Was that the type of thing that you guys would do together? You, you know, yeah. socialize, go to the beach and things yeah, like that, I and think, take your camera along. I think, especially when Dion was around, she kind of became quite childlike, and and she was, you know, she that inner child was always there in her. And I think it's really important to remember that in us all to be able to play and have fun and and in, and just that joy that the kids have. It's an absolutely stunning photo, and you also got to take photos of her while she was on stage yeah. doing what we all know and yeah. love her for. Um, so we can just show you guys this one. This is here on stage. Is this in France, is it, in Paris? It was in Paris. It was at a, a private uh, store opening for Fendi. And it was a really fun night. Um, yeah, it was. she had a lot of really funny banter with the audience. And, you know, she, she loved to kind of poke fun at just singing as a career in itself. And, and she was like, I'm available for bar mitzvahs and weddings. And just kind of, yeah, she always had great banter. And I think... The audience really warmed up to her and, and by the end of it were cheering and 
loved it and wanted more. Yeah, sadly, yeah. we'll never get to see, see that. You're one of the lucky ones to see her on stage like that. And also, what she is known for most, isn't it, is her musical talent. Yeah. And this photo that we've got here that we can show you guys, what people might not know yeah. is that she could play drums. <laughs> she played along, she was playing actually playing along to the Shirelles that night. And I was just taking a few photos casually as we hung out. And yeah, she, I think it was, it was more, it's like the physical action of, of playing drums, whether you're good or bad, is, is such a, it's a release. And I think during those years, we spent a lot of time indoors. And so having that release and yeah, playing drums was really fun for her. And playing along to all the, the girl groups, so there's definitely a soundtrack to our friendship. Fantastic yeah. photo, it really is. Is there a personal favorite, you know, this book that we've got here that you've put out? Um, how many photos are in there? There is uh, 85. 85. Yeah. Is there a personal favorite, a standout moment from your relationship with Amy that really, really you think encapsulates her? I think there is one image in the book that um, I think was probably her favorite photo. And it's uh, one of her kind of posing like a pinup girl. And it really shows how she kind of wanted to be seen. And she's got her hands on her, her waist and she's posing on this rock in the ocean. And there's a power behind it that is visceral. You just feel it when you see it. And I think that that's definitely a, a photo that was her favorite, and it's become definitely one of mine. And just now we reflect on Amy Winehouse's legacy a lot. What, what does she mean to you? She means a lot, of, a lot to me. She taught me a lot. She was a wonderful, loyal, loving friend. And uh, she really instilled uh, the importance of... of creative integrity, personal integrity, and just being true to, to who you are as much as you can. And she really, she really was. She was the realest person I've ever met. And I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm excited to kind of put my work out there as she always wanted me to and, and be able to do it with her. Fantastic, Blake. And I can assure you there's some absolutely stunning photos in here. Recommend anyone taking a, taking a look. But that's sadly all we've got time for. Um, join, do look on, on our Facebook page for more videos like this. Thanks for joining us and thanks to you, Blake. Thank you.